So give it a big round of applause for Fur. Oh, I got that right. Okay. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? Doing good? I already kind of like met most of you. We were talking with here. I think they kind of like bullied you a little bit at the beginning. You know, you're new here, almost break the light, well done. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, so my name is Fer Rivero, I'm 29 years old. You look confused, I know I look like I'm 15 years old. <laughs> Every time I go to church, I feel like my ass is in danger. <laughs> I do love the teasing, so I'm always like, yes, Father, what part of Jesus are we going to eat today? I love, I love the shaking, it's just like uncomfortable, love it. Yeah. I don't do that, I don't go to church. They don't have real food, and without real food, you know, I'm not like joining, because that thing, right? Like, you're like, I'm going to church because they give staff a free wine? Ha! Huh? Bullshit. Uh, no, no, it's like asking for a cola and getting a Pepsi. It's not happening, you know, I don't go to church. In fact, last time I went to church, real story, I actually got kicked out, rude, because, uh, you know, I went with my friend, I have a nice camera, and then I went with my friend, because I know, like Christian church is a pain in the ass for kids. Wrong choice of words for wrong choice. Uh, but the architecture, you, the architecture is divine, guys. Like pictures at church can be incredible for Instagram. So I went to church with my friend. You know, I kind of like sat down. I was looking like up to Jesus, like mm, looking nice. And then the priest came to me and he was like, "Hey, you, you, you cannot be here." And I was like, "Why not?" And he kicked me out. Like literally, the priest walked me outside i was like i'm so special so chosen right now and then i told him like why am i getting kicked out and he told me like well you don't look like a christian and i was like that's how you get killed in my neighborhood like you don't say that to a spanish person that's wrong but yeah i'm from spain and you know already i'm 29 i'm going to go to make 30 already they told me it's the best part you know in life is a real <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just go to it. I don't have the choice. I don't have, I don't have the choice. So, yeah, I'm half Dominican black from my mom's side. You know, the skin is not the light. Uh, it's because I'm half Dominican. And then I'm half white from my dad's side. So that means I'm black enough to be bullied in my country, but not enough to wear Jordans. It's really confusing because I look really good at Jordans. They look awesome on me. <sighs> really not a thing that I like but something weird about me I like to introduce myself I'm a Buddhist I know you just like what uh, <laughs> it was so nice first person doing it I'm a Buddhist and I'm a Buddhist because for the past eight years I've been living in China I know I survived thank you uh, I've been living in China and you know China is a crazy place and every time I told people you know, like I live in China for eight years. They always told me this kind of weird questions. You can probably help me out in here. Uh, what would you ask somebody who have lived in China for eight years? Just why? Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, she got it right away. Did you eat dog? I actually don't know. And I don't know, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I went to the ghetto China. I'm like a really hardcore person, so I didn't go to like Beijing, Shanghai, no, 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 no. I went to the ghetto, the profound China, where the choices were, yeah, get ready. The choices were like either eggplant or monkey brain. That's the kind of food choices that I had. That's the ghetto China that I went. So I don't know if I ate chicken, dog, rat, I don't know, human, but I'm a vegetarian now. That's the best choice I made in a long time, guys. And you know, in China, I, I like it a lot of things. It, it was a really cool experience. I don't know if anybody's from China around here, uh, or you have visited, by any chance you had that unlucky moment. Uh, but China was really cool, except for one question that people kept asking me over and over. That is like, hey, where are you from? And I was like, oh, I'm from Spain and everything. I think, guys, attention here. You have two outcomes to this question. So the first one is when you say like, oh, I'm from Spain and all that, Granada, and they're like, oh, flamenco, flamenco, football, football, and it's like, oh, that's a cute outcome. And then you have the other. So they ask you, hey, where are you from? And they're like, oh, I'm from Spain, and I'm like, oh, yeah, but 
where are you from? And they do this thing with a hand that I call the ethnic questioner hand, that it goes deeper, and you're like, I'm from Spain. They're like, no, 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 but where are you from? And they start looking at you up and down, you know, it's like, because you're black. And you have to be like, I'm from Spain. And then after a bit, one time I just said, I'm from Wakanda. And they were like, oh, Wakanda forever, Wakanda. You learn a lot of patience as a Buddhist, you know, in China. But it, I like it, I like it. It was a cool experience. The only thing is, after eight years living in China, I started feeling a little bit lonely. You know, it happens. So I did what lonely people with hope does, open a Tinder account, like your friend, right? Uh, so I opened a Tinder account, and guys, you know Tinder? Everybody knows Tinder here? Woo, yeah. You, you don't know Tinder, like really? <laughs> I'm going to explain it to you, don't you worry. I'll explain it to you. <laughs> you know how it works, but you don't know Tinder. So you have never had Tinder. Are you single? Okay, oh, you're lucky. Damn. Red carpet in here. So, so I opened a Tinder account, guys, and I was like swiping, you know, right on almost everybody because loneliness. Uh, swiping left on the people who were like trolls. And I had this super deep, profound conversations on Tinder with people like, hey, hey, how are you? Good, and you? Good. That's it. That was the whole conversation. That's basically the type of conversation you have on Tinder. Nothing happens there. So when, then, I went ahead, you know, because you know I'm a hardcore person, you know me already a little bit. So I went ahead and I opened a Grinder account. Ooh, plot twist, black and gay. Woo! I opened a Grinder account, guys. And do you know what, what Grinder is? Okay, I'm going to explain what Grinder is, just in case, you know, just, I feel like I'm going to traumatize you today, like you will stop eating after this story, but eh, never mind. Uh, so, Grinder is this app, okay, gay people have, it's like a radar, you can just open it and you see, this is how you find out if your neighbor is gay or not, okay, like every hot person that you see around, living around you, you use this app to, to find out. If they're in the app, they're gay, okay, that's simple. So, Grinder, you, you have like all these torsos, pectorals, biceps, abs, it's just incredible, okay? Uh, you can swipe and you have like, tells you how far away from you they are, so you can kind of like imagine like, oh, maybe the person living there is like, this is Grindr, okay? It's a really cool place. It's like a headless Instagram, okay? Just so you get the idea. So I opened the Grindr account, and then I started, you know, like, talking with people and all that, and I remember, you get really weird messages in here. So I remember this guy, remember, I'm in China, who wrote to me and he was like, hey, are you into really small Asian guys? And I was like, bro, I'm like a fucking Latino hobbit in here. Like I'm like 1.50. I'm not into building a supportive community for small people. I want dick. Like I'm here for dick. I mean, clearly, this is why you open Grindr. You know, open Grindr to make friends. So I kept, you know, checking on Grindr and all that. And then I met this African dude, like not, Fancy African, like jungle African. Uh, I met this African dude and he was like black. I'm not really into black people. I have a German boyfriend now actually, but I heard the rumors. So I'm a smart, I know. So I gave it a try, you know, I gave it a try. I talked to him. You need to talk with people for over five, 10 minutes to know they're not a psycho killer or something. So I gave it a try, we, we went dinner. Uh, and then actually he was really nice and he could talk, you know. So that's good. <laughs> Grinder, that's why they like a wing. And it was so good. And I, of course, you know, we're gay people. We had sex in the first night. Uh, uh, and guys, let me tell you, uh, these people eat everything, guys. Like, everything. I mean, African people know hunger in their country and they eat everything, guys. Uh, my toenails. I have never been so clean. That's all I'm saying. Hashtag moist. They eat everything. I mean, I was thinking, well, 
Mo, you're kind of like half African, so you can, you know, get away with this. But I was thinking, if there's somebody single African in here, it's not leaving alone tonight. After my story, everything, guys, like everything. So we started having more dates, cause right when it's going good, you Mo is like, yeah. <laughs> So, we started having more dates, right? And it was cool until when it wasn't. And one day he came home and he was like, hey, are you going to eat your cat? And I was like, oh, hashtag not moist anymore. What the heck is that question? And then it went worse, because you know, when it just starts going down, it goes down full mode. So he came to another another time we met. We met. And then he was smelling a little bit. And probably girls, you're going to feel me in here. You know when, when your boyfriend or something smells bad, like a bird or something who came from fighting a tiger? And you're like, hey, we could, we could just kind of like maybe have a shower or something. And he was like, no, 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 no. I like my natural smell because I realized shampoo and gel has chemicals and I don't want my body to touch those chemicals. Now I like my natural odor. I know it's, it's gross already. And I was like, so we could make it in the shower, you know? Didn't work out, guys. Didn't work out. He was like, no, no, now I feel more like a man with this smell. <laughs> so I told him, listen, my mom says that before your meal, you need to wash your hands and your meal is ready. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> It didn't work out, guys. It it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. The sexy shower didn't work out, so I stopped. I stopped dating for a bit, you know. After like this whole eating myself and somebody eating me and all that, I was like, this is not going to work with any other person. But after a bit, you guys that are going to feel me now, like boys in here, men in here. I had like after two three months these days when you're like extremely horny. You know, like, exactly, like, I mean, they call it blue balls. I call it just, like, being like a bitch. Because uh, you are horny as hell. And I was like, don't open grinder, don't open grinder, don't... I open grinder. Don't judge me. So I open grinder, and I actually forgot about the kind of messages you get in this place. Like, I kind of, like, lost the experience on it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of the messages I got on the first 10 minutes after po posting my picture. This is crazy. So first was like, hey, are you into CHF? And I was like, what? They were like, yeah, never mind. And I'm like, don't do that. You know when so somebody tells you something and then they retract it and you're like, what the fuck is it? It was chem fun that is like basically like putting like needles and all that, like chemicals. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Then I got more weird messages, and another one was like, Hey, I have weight, I have eyes, I have beer, I have a lot of things in my house, and free hairy that is coming my way. Do you want to join us? And I was like, Let me go to my fridge. I have eyes, I have cola, I have popcorn, I have Netflix, I have chill. No. <laughs> no, daddy issues in here. Weird messages all along. You know, girls, have you ever received a uh, dick ask for? Yes. Mm. <laughs> that's just wrong. You cannot be a man and say woo to that. <laughs> that's, just, that's just wrong. No, don't do that. Don't be that dude. So, on Grindr you get these pictures, but guys, we are gay people in a hardcore place, so you don't only get unsolicited dick pictures. That, by the way, they're always small. When, they, when you don't ask them, they're always small. Stop doing that. If you have a massive dick, you're Captain America, send your dick. No? Cut it out. But we go hardcore. So then I started getting butthole pictures. Uh huh. First, first image of a butthole. I know I told you you were not going to it after this. But then you get like some people go even more and they send you butthole pictures being fucked by somebody else. And there is nothing that turns you on less than that. I can tell you that for sure. And they send you. They expect you to be like, yes, I'm joining right now, leaving my house. Don't do that. Don't send unsolicited dick pictures, okay? But there, it's really hard to be gay. Uh, I feel like all my straight friends, they always tell me stuff like, no, but you know, because gay people have it so easy because you can open grinder and find sex and all that. And that's kind of true. Do you feel that way as well? Probably the, the man in here. Do you feel like it's hard, you know, for straight men to find sex? Well, for gay, it's not. The, the problem is who? you find sex with. That's the problem because you open this place, nobody has a face. So you need to find out if 
any of them is going to be a killer or something, you know? And you don't want them to come to your place because I have a cat, right? Like my cat is my baby. I mean, I'm gay, I'm not going to have kids. So my cat is my baby. And then you have to go to their place and you're horny. I was really horny even though I got these weird messages. Like, I remember the, probably the weirdest one I got was like, you, one or zero. And I was like, what? And he was like, are you a one or a zero? And I was like, I'm not getting this. And then I thought, okay, I, I will say that I'm a 10, but I need to be humble, you know? Like, you don't want to say I'm a 10. So I said like, I think I'm an eight. And the dude was like, what the fuck is that? And I was like, I don't know, you started this. Like, what? <laughs> no fucking clue, no fucking clue. All this time, you know, I was horny as hell and I was missing the African dude a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, you know, I call him John the Legend because he has this song called, well, I'll, I'll sing it for you. Cause all of me, it's all of you. It was a wonderful song. I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. It was great. I miss him, but I was horny and you need to deal with this. So, okay, I had to select and at the end I had two choices, okay? two choices so one of them was extremely hot like perfect abs you know perfect body asian dude like really ethnic really into it and he sent me nudes i asked for it he sent me um of all his body okay you know we're gay um and i was like this is so hot and i was like yeah man i'm going i was putting my pants and everything he's like uh yeah you're going to be the third one filling me up with milk today and i was like just take your pants out, get the Netflix and you are not going. So I had to go with the second option. And guys, this is already 1 a.m. in the morning, okay? Horny as hell. Like, girls, I know you get horny as well, but I can relate to the boys. When we're horny, we're horny. And let me tell you advice. If you're horny one day, open Pornhub, deal with it. Just go easy. Don't make mistakes. I feel like Grindr, when you open, she'll tell you, like, please, sir, like, just put an announcement and be like, if you are under the current circumstances and say like horniness, lack of condoms, you know, extremely horniness again, you want to fuck somebody because you're lonely, please don't use this app. You will save a lot of lives. I feel that and they don't do that. They don't do that in the app, of course they don't. So at the end I went to the last choice and it was this guy, he was skinny, you know, he was tall, he sent me a face picture, he was cute. I was like, okay, well, I talked with him for over 10 minutes, so I was like, okay, this can be a date, you know? He doesn't look like a killer to me. He was like, oh, I love to cuddle. What do you do for a living? He was asking all the right questions, okay? Like, when they ask you, what do you do for a living? It's like, who cares about me? Fucking, we're going to fuck. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, send me your location. You can send the location in the app. So he sent me the location, and I was like, let's do this. I'm horny, this is going to get paid, so 1 a.m., I get on a taxi, middle of China, like Guangzhou, a city that almost nobody knows. And then I'm in the taxi and I was like, okay, this is happening, you know? And when I'm in the taxi, he tells me via grinder, hey, by the way, I'm top. And I'm like, do you know what that means? He likes to put his, his dick inside other people. That's what top means, that's the one and zero. So I was like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. All Asian people told me the same. Sure, 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 we'll fix that. So I went, you know, I was like, fuck it, I'm black. Uh, so I went there, you know, I got in the taxi and after 25 minutes in the taxi, I'm looking at the dude and everything is dark. Like, you know, when you go to, to a really far area and everything is dark, like light starts fading away, there's no sound. And then I saw some people who were looking at the taxi like, you are in the wrong place, motherfucker. So I was like, oh shit, oh shit, this is how I lose my organs, this is where I'm going to die. Should I go back? But I was horny, and I'm a hardcore person, so it was like, should I tell the taxi? So I asked, hey, where are we going? He's like, oh, this is your location. It's actually one of the poorest districts in the city. And I was like, Jay, such a nice choice. <laughs> so I kept going, and then the guy just drops me in a place that is literally, you know when you have a light and it's just flicking like, click, 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 click. It's like, literally, a scary movie. So he left me in there. He's like, bye, she's here. And I'm like, bye. And then I'm there in the shadow with the fucking freaking light that was creeping me out. And suddenly I hear from the from far away, Ni -hao. And I'm like, somebody's calling for me. So I check and it's the dude 
the dude came for me, you know, he picked me up, it was real, I was like, okay, cool, he wasn't as hot as I thought, but okay, I didn't ask for, you know, full body pictures and everything, he brought me to his place, and I was like, okay, he was shy, I hate when you meet with somebody that you don't know, and they're mostly quiet, it's just, it just makes, it, it, it's horrible, you know, talk to me, don't, don't have this killer place, and then don't tell me anything, it's just wrong. So he brought me to his place. His place was, you see the stage? This was his place. With, I mean, listen, I have more space in here. Uh, with a little bit more in here, and the bed fit. And this was, yeah, yeah, this is my place, and everything. And I was like, okay, yeah, it's, it's cool. I mean, I started kissing him, you know, and I was like, okay, let's check the, you know, the merchandise and down there. So I was kissing, I was touching, you want to know what you're dealing with, because he was a top. Uh, and then I went like, I'm, not really touching anything and I was like okay maybe he's not horny enough so I just kept like you know trying putting the leg in there trying everything and then at the end I was like okay let's just take his pants he had micro penis guys he had a micro penis I literally traveled risked my life for whole fucking evening to the whole for this district in the city and he had a micro penis like risk your life for a chickpea that's, <laughs> that's the story guys so at the end i remember he was like well we can cuddle and i was like uh, okay okay so he spun me you know and i was like i feel like a dot in here <laughs> and then he was like you're so handsome and i was like i'm going to fucking delete this app tomorrow morning i had to sleep with him and guys the only thing i want to tell you before my time is up is remember you need to be more like John the legend. Eat everything. That's the lesson you can get from me. You need to eat everything, guys. That's the only way they will never go away. That's my time. Thank you.